Hey, it's Michael, and uh, to follow is a, a short video that I made. I interviewed two gentlemen, Roger and Grant, that were uh, getting ready to uh, hike up the side of a mountain, or actually climb up the side of a mountain, and uh, here in Red Rocks. So I just thought I'd go and ask them a few questions, and they agreed to it, and, uh, and I thought it was a pretty fun little interview that was uh, serendipitous, and I actually got to watch them uh, climb up the side of the mountain, which was kind of cool. So I'll post some of that video on here, and uh, enjoy the interview thanks you guys you guys are my first interview so and roger and what's your name again brant grant. grant okay grant so uh you guys are out here today at red rocks in las vegas and incidentally i've been living in uh denver colorado for a few years and red rocks and denver has been my favorite place there have you guys been out there mm -hmm. boulder is yeah Awesome. Yeah, I just moved back to uh, to New Orleans to go uh, be with my family, but uh, I miss I miss Denver about four four months out. So, uh, so basically, move, educate, nourish, decompress. Um, how long have you guys been doing this type of movement? Forty years. Forty at least. Sixty-eight at least. Really awesome, man. You've been all around the country doing this, around the world. Well, South America. Awesome. Alaska. Cool. Does it take a lot of uh, a lot of experience to do this? Did you learn from other people, or did you learn from books, or what was your education process for this? He taught me. Awesome. It doesn't take a lot of expertise or experts. You just need to start doing it. Anybody can do it. Cool. What about the uh, what about the the special equipment here? Is that relatively expensive, or? Yeah, it is, but that's only for a special kind of climbing. Right. That's for trad climbing. Up here, you see those bolts on the wall. There's a whole line of anchors right to the wall okay right okay so if you're going to climb the, the anchors you don't need nearly the equipment okay so if they already have pre pre-set up anchors then right. makes it a little a little and easier for you clips called quick draws sweet okay These are homemade, but, yeah. and, and then as far as nourishing yourself do you guys like do you guys hydrate uh when you know you're going to be out here in the sun for a while or is there any kind of special thing that you do on a day where you know you're going to be out here for a few hours i like to drink a couple of diet mountain dews diet mountain dews <laughs> But, you got gator in <laughs> but, <laughs> but this is what I bring when I came on. Right, and and are you are you are you taking the the Gatorade just for the electrolytes for the sodium and potassium and stuff that you might be depleted from, or Mostly just the liquid. you just like it? Yeah. No, the liquid. I mean, otherwise water. Right, and what about you, sir? Uh, uh, I just make sure I, when I urinate, it's pretty clear. Right, that it's not Coca-Cola color. Yeah, Coca they, they, you didn't do any dam <laughs> damage to your kidneys yeah, while you're out here. Otherwise, I don't drink extra water to come up, because otherwise, when you get older, you have to pee too much. Right. And so you get halfway up and you have to pee, so <laughs> you don't do that either. <laughs> and and as, uh, do you do any other kind of decompression other than this, or is this your main type of decompression? This is this is it for me. Yeah. I, we I used to do six or seven things, like while uh, rafting down our right. rivers and stuff like that. But after a while, if you got too many, then it becomes work. Right, right. Gotta, I just have to concentrate on one. Brent does a couple. Right. What, what else do you do, Brent? Brent? You do canoeing. Yeah. Canoeing in northern Minnesota and Canada. Right. After I had some days. So you try and get out at least once a year and do some of those other things? Well, or? I usually do some canoeing. And right. Last week, I was snowshoeing. <laughs> snowshoeing? Where at? Uh, northern Minnesota. Nice. Like yeah. Right. Uh, beginning of the Mississippi River. Right. I, I miss the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I miss, I miss, uh, traversing those hills outside of Boulder with the, you know, 12 inches of snow. I love it there. So I figure I, my, my plan is to just, it's cheap plane tickets to just travel there three or four times a year and, and live with my fa by my family versus the opposite of that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for your time and I appreciate it. This is awesome.